I figured we're going to need to test our pulley system before we finish our final rocket, so we're going to need a surrogate rocket with the same weight. Hey, you know what would work? We could take a couple beer cans together. Yeah, I got them. They all crunkled up. Well, there's some, there's some that's not crinkled up in you there. You might have to, un, uh, yeah, I have to unfill them. That'll be fine with me. All, all in the name of science. It was nowhere near beer 30, so I was surprised to see Uncle Travis and Rods breaking out the beers already. <laughs> oh, they got a cooler full of beer. Well, we gotta have some beer cans for our rocket test. Well, y'all got a cooler full of beer? The problem is, all the empty ones Rods got are all crunkled up. Well, we need to make an empty So we gotta make, we need three empty ones. Leave it to Raj to hand us some tomato beer. I don't know where he found it, but it was horrible. It's like a Bloody Mary. Yeah, except yeah. beer. Yeah, our sister at least. <laughs> Mary's Damn. sister. Y'all drive me to drink it, man. David, right. this is a tall boy. I got to choke down a tall boy. Tall boy. Yeah, you better not <laughs> nasty waste that. Tomato yeah, I, love it. I hate tomato juice, man. <laughs> Come on, Mew. Boy, is that nasty tomato beard now. That's pretty nasty. What are you guys doing? We're well, making rocket body. We're making rocket body. You want to help? <laughs> All the ones that Raj has are crunkled up. After we painstakingly finished those tomato beers, I got Pete working on our tomato beer can surrogate rocket. Pete, what we need to do is we need to build us a surrogate rocket. And we're not going to put an engine in it. We're just going to use it to practice how the hook goes on there. Right. OK, OK. All right. So we need a body. Now, these will be about right. But we need to make it weigh about five pounds total. OK, so we're actually going to do the surrogate of the final rocket weight. Yeah. OK. For a project like this, everything's got to be done in stages and tested pretty much every step of the way. It's pretty tight. I think that'll work just fine. Right now, we're gonna hoist our slingshot up to about 30 feet in some trees and test it. This is gonna be a pretty good test because we got the little balloons there where the big weather balloons are gonna go. We wanna test the slingshot plus counterweight idea before we try this thing at 400 feet with the helium balloons and everything. So we're using some beer cans filled with sand to represent the rocket and a bucket full of junk as our counterweight. We wanna see if it creates the same effect as a rubber band. The thing that worries me about the build is making sure this rocket does not hit the pulley when it goes up, because that's going to, you know, destroy the whole the whole purpose. If this thing hits right there, it's not going to do what we want it to do. Let's do it. He works good under pressure. Y'all know that. Yeah, all you mm -hmm. gotta do is press down on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Look out! Boom. Hey, that, that worked, worked just exactly like what we wanted. Right. We dropped a five-gallon bucket full of weights, and it launched those beer cans up. Whoa! About 15 feet above the wheel. Look out! 